ex-boyfriend murders college student. Let's get into it. Of the Austin complex right now near campus Loop Road. And it was right here where witnesses tell me they found Alasia's lifeless body, leaving this campus with many questions. However, the only question her father has is why. Kennesaw State University students are at a loss. We were all just sitting there like in the dorm, just like watching a movie and then we heard like these shots go off. Senior St. Williams says he heard eight to 10 pops and didn't believe it until he walked outside of the Austin resident complex to see what was going on and ran into who KSU police have now confirmed as the shooter, Samuel Harris. We saw him get in his car, like packing stuff up and then he drove off. Police tell us that his target was 21 year old Alasia Franklin. She was just laying there clinging to the life her family was so used to seeing. She was full of life, full of laughter. She never gave her mother a day of grief. That was until now. Grief struck a South Georgia family and an entire campus when Alyssa was pronounced dead Saturday. It's a loss her father, Bobby Franklin, cannot come to terms with. I'm lost for words. I feel like my heart has been ripped out of my chest. Bobby says his firstborn child was about to start her third year at KSU. She was studying to be a nurse practitioner. Her alleged killer, Harris, cut her plan short and as a result has been arrested yeah, for murder. But Williams, who's now traumatized, says violence like this makes him question what's being done to protect other college students. If something like that's just happening in broad daylight, no, I don't think anyone should feel safe on campus. We need to protect our women, our black women. Bobby says he met Harris and describes him as an ex-boyfriend who wouldn't let Alasia go. I never could imagine him being capable of doing something like this. He hopes his daughter's story will encourage all parents to be more involved so they're not thrown for a loss when what he believes was domestic violence shows up in a horrifying way. We all need to stop and make time and communicate with our children to make sure that they're safe. A spokesperson for KSU police tells us that Harris was not a student and he also faces aggravated assault and possession of a firearm charges. Live in Kennesaw, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive. Such a tragic story. My condolences goes out to the family. It's just crazy that this young lady, she was on to doing great things in life and her life was just cut short by her ex-boyfriend. And for the ex-boyfriend, they better not let him out. Keep him in there for the rest of his life until he's dead. Let me know what you guys think.